Some might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner Or at least I used to be Welcome to Southern Country Living. It's me, Kim, again. Today, you're in my kitchen. So, here's what we're doing. I just got back from the grocery store with Daddy, and tonight, we are gonna be making a home-cooked meal for Nan. She hasn't had a good home-cooked meal in over a week since Pop had surgery. So, we're gonna be making chicken and dumplings, and we're gonna be making a chocolate cobbler for dessert. Now, there are things you have to know. By no means am I a pro in the kitchen like my Papa Nana. Number two, we have never made a video like this in our whole lives. Number three and four, I've got Addie and our dog Gus with me today. So this could be a wild, wild ride. But we want to share this journey with you guys because we appreciate you all so much. So enjoy it. I'm going to eat groceries unloaded and we'll keep going. All right, I've laid out all of our ingredients. We're about to jump into this. Like I said, we're making chicken and dumplings and we're making chocolate cobbler. I think this is gonna be a super simple recipe. We're about to jump into this and see. I've made one of them before. I've made the chicken and dumplings before. They were delicious the first time. So we're gonna get this chicken boiling. And while that's going, we're gonna go ahead and mix up the chocolate cobbler. Addie's over here helping out by being a great girl eating her goldfish crackers. Can you say hey? Say hey. No waves. Maybe later? Yeah. Okay. Are you going to share with your doggie? You share crackers with your doggie? That's <laughs> sweet. No, 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 that's enough. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, to get our recipe started, we're going to boil our chicken breast. I'm working with about two pounds of chicken, boneless, skinless chicken breast. Um, I'll probably put some salt in the water to boil them. So we're just going to throw these in here, get them going. The easiest way of cooking chicken, hands down. It's my favorite. So today's Wednesday. It's my off day from work. The day I get to spend with Addie, having our best day together every single week. You guys can hear her in the background. Um, so today I did take Nana up to the hospital. I dropped her off with Pop so that she could spend the day with him. And then my mom's gonna be picking her up and taking her back home this evening. And that's when we'll all enjoy our meal together. So Pop is getting moved up to the sixth floor today at the hospital, which is the, the, the rehab floor. So it's inpatient rehab. Um, so they're gonna be working with him just on his strength and his energy levels. And honestly, we don't know how long that's gonna be. It could be a few days it could be you know two weeks um but we'll keep you guys updated on that and what that's going to look like but we're excited about the move for him i think it's going to be a you know a refreshing scene and it's really going to help him with his energy and with his mobility um, all right so the chicken's boiling let me just give you guys a rundown of this recipe a friend that i work with shared this recipe with me and it was delicious it was simple and we love that so give me two seconds, let me find this recipe. Um, and it's so, the ingredients are just, they're so simple. All right, so she says, one pound of chicken breast, boiled and shredded, a large can of cream of chicken soup, one stick of butter, two cans of canned biscuits, smashed flat and cut into strips, one carton of chicken broth and salt and pepper. Medium heat on the stove top. She said she's tried it in the crock pot before, but the biscuits won't get to dumpling consistency. So we're not doing the crock pot. We're doing stove top. But first things first, we're getting our chicken going. While that's going, I'm gonna go ahead and get my ingredients measured out for the chocolate cobbler, and then I'll show you guys what we're doing there. 
All right, I've got the chicken boiling. It's on high, it's coming to a boil, starting to turn white. That's what we like to see. Okay, so Addie was done and done with the high chair sitting. She has decided she wants to help me, even though she's covered in goldfish crackers. Huh. So we're gonna get started on the chocolate cobbler. Um, also, a super simple recipe. Let me give you a quick rundown of those ingredients. Two sticks of melted butter, one and a half cups of self-rising flour, a three-fourths cup of milk, one tablespoon of vanilla extract, two and a half cups of sugar, six tablespoons of cocoa powder, three-fourths to one cup of hot water. We'll see what that's for. And then it, this says to serve it with cherry ice cream. Guess who forgot to get any type of ice cream at the grocery store? We did, Addy. So we might have to stop by and get that on the way over to Nana's house. Um, the first thing we're going to do is melt our two sticks of butter and pour that into a nine by 13 pan. I'm actually gonna be using like a travel disposable pan for this ch chocolate cobbler. Mama, and we're also Mama, preheating, Mama. is that right, you like that? We're also preheating our oven to 350 degrees. So that's already done for us. We're at 155 right now and counting. I'm gonna go ahead and get this butter melted, pour it in this pan and we'll go from there. All right, so we got our melted butter in our pan. Next thing we're going to do, and guys, I'll put all of this in the description of the YouTube video so you can see this if you want to. Next thing we're going to do is combine the flour, the milk, the vanilla, and let's see, one and a half cups of the sugar, and we're going to pour that over the butter. Meanwhile, my chicken is still boiling over. We're gonna turn that down just a little bit. So I'm gonna mix those things together and I'll give you an update. All right, we're gonna go ahead and mix a few things. All of our flour, all of our milk, one and a, one and a half cups of the sugar, and then I'm gonna throw in just a dash of vanilla. We're gonna mix that up and pour it over our melted butter. All right, so that mixture has been poured over our butter. Next, we're gonna do our cocoa powder and the rest of our sugar and mix that together and sift that over this mixture. So that's when our chocolate's gonna come in. So we'll see how that goes. These two love to look outside while I'm working in the kitchen. Addy, you wave, hey. Hey. Okay, so I warned you guys that I was not a pro in the kitchen, like at all. And I was like reading my directions and it calls for a sifter. And I'm thinking, I don't have a sifter. No idea where I have a sifter at. Managed to find a Christmas sifter. Thanks to Nana Jane for that one. All right, so I'm mixing my cocoa powder and my sugar. Six tablespoons of cocoa powder, one cup of sugar, mixing that up. Then I'm gonna throw it in this fancy Christmas sifter. You guys excuse the background noise, Addison's playing over here in the kitchen. So we're gonna sift it on top of the batter that we just poured in there. Then the directions kind of, not they don't confuse me, I'm just puzzled by what this is going to do. So from, the, from there, the directions call to pour three fourths to one cup of hot, hot, hot water over the mixture and then bake it for 30 to 40 minutes until it's ooey gooey but done. Personally, I don't know what the hot water does. I'm gonna do it because I'm good at following directions, but I don't know what the hot water does. If you, I'm sure you all know what the hot water does. Please, please, please tell me in the comments. Um, all right, good. let's get it mixed up. So we're going to pour a little into our Christmas sifter. Uh -oh. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Now we're sitting. So I've never really been a huge fan of chocolate cobbler until recently. You guys probably can't even hear me over the sifter. Um, there was a barbecue restaurant in town that served chocolate cobbler and I was obsessed with it when I was pregnant with Addison. So that's when I developed my love for chocolate cobbler. I've made one other one than this. Um, it was not this recipe. So I'm excited to see how this recipe turns out. I'm gonna get my hot, hot water. Um, I guess we actually probably need to boil that hot, hot water, right? 
Actually, no, I'm just gonna get my hot, hot water straight from the sink. I think our water is super hot and then it'll bake, so it should be fine. Um, okay, let's get that hot, hot water. I'm gonna get a cup and then I guess we'll just kind of see if we use a cup. I'll probably start with about three fourths and then gauge it from there. So I'm gonna let this water get hot, hot, hot. Addison, Addison, what are you doing? Addison and Gus are laying here on the floor. You guys can't see them, unfortunately. And this is just the measuring cup I use for my sugar and my flour and my butter. I'm fine with using it again. Addie, don't pull on the tripod, okay? All right, so let's get our one cup. Got it. And let's see what happens here. I'm guessing something with the ooey gooeyness happens with this. Alright, so I used, I don't know, a, a little more than three fourths of a cup. Alright, we're gonna pop this in the oven. We'll keep you guys updated on this. Alright, that's in the oven. We're gonna set our timer for 30 minutes. Here's the truth behind why I'm not a pro in the kitchen. I cannot stand cleaning it up. Like, that's my least favorite part of it all. I really do enjoy cooking. I enjoy mixing and making and baking. I cannot stand cleaning up. So if that could instantly be done, we'd be in heaven. All right, so I just checked my chicken. It's still cooking. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get out my biscuits, get those cut up so that they're ready to throw into the dumplings once I mix everything else together. I may even go ahead and mix all the other ingredients if the chicken still needs a few minutes. Once the chicken's done, we'll shred it up um, and then we'll throw it in with everything else. Okay, chicken is done. We're about to get it shredded, but guys, look at this. Look at that. Ooh, looks so, so good. All right, our chicken is shredded and ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and dump that into our pot here. Looks like a lot of chicken. I'm worried about the size of my pot at this point. I'm gonna go do my chicken broth. And I ended up washing dishes instead of cutting up biscuits. So I still have to cut up my biscuits. I need to grab my can. So I've got lots to do, lots to do. Addie had about all the playtime she could handle. Notice how dirty she is now, the rascal, rascal. So guys, I ended up just doing one can of the biscuits. For the amount of chicken I had, the amount of ingredients I had, one can of biscuits looked like it was going to be good. That's all simmering on the stove now. I'm gonna cover it up, turn it on low, add some salt and pepper, let that go for probably 20, 30 minutes. Um, at least until the dumplings are getting done. I'm definitely actually going to turn it on low right now because it's kind of kind of getting mad. All right, we'll just give that a stir. But you know, dumplings are of course the best part, so you can never have too many. That's my opinion. Excuse the sizzle. Definitely cut my hand on the can when I was throwing it away earlier. Whoops. Um, all right, so we're going to get this finished, packed up, and we're gonna head and grab some ice cream and then head to Nana's. Do you wanna go see Nana? Do you wanna go see Nana? And Mama? 
Yeah, yeah, you wanna go see Nana and Mama? Yeah. So we're gonna head over there and we'll see you guys when we're there. All right, it's dinner time. We've broken out the chicken and dumplings. Nana, what do you think? Very delicious. <laughs> what do you think, Mom? Two thumbs mm -hmm. up. They're the best, Kim. Thank you. And Addie's eating vegetable soup. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here 